the things that we know that people really value, obviously, are the relationships that we have with kids. And we, we do believe that no matter whether you have three schools or however many kids, you sure can have relationships with kids. And so that's very important. The other piece that we realize that we value are the opportunities to have blocks of time within a schedule. So we can look at things like a modified block um, schedule so that there are opportunities for increased learning time within certain content areas. Um, and then one of the big things was opportunities for kids to be act, to be able to access all courses. One of the one of the things that we one of the fallbacks I guess are, that we ran into are barriers with three small schools was that they were very contained in the beginning they were really autonomous. So if you were in one school, you were not able to access courses in any other school. So that became problematic over time, and we sort of loosened it up and then kind of began to take their autonomy away from them because they were running on different schedules and, and, and absolutely made them line up so that kids could cross over from school to school. Well, and that hasn't really, it's worked to some extent, but I don't think that it's worked to the greatest benefit that it could have worked for us. So we know that, um, and, and we've also learned through these conversations that we absolutely have to do a better job of communicating with our community and our parents, especially at younger ages. We need to be starting in fourth and fifth grade, talking to parents about all the opportunities that we have at Lima Senior High School. The importance has come up multiple times of pathways for students. So when a child comes from the arts magnet, and they want to pursue an arts magnet education, that we have created a pathway for them through that high school so that they have opportunities for all of those courses. Opportunities for students who may be interested in engineering, that we can pathway them through an engineering career in high school. College-bound pathways and kids who are geared more toward vocational work. So there was a lot of discussion around that. So at the end of the day, um, we did decide that the, in, in looking at everything, there was never really any one thing that said two schools, one school. So the decision has been made that we will recommend to the board to approve the transformation back to one full high school. With the stipulation that um, it, it's not going to be just the traditional high school that we had 10, 10, 11 years ago. We've learned a lot about the way that we teach through all these years of small learning communities and all the professional development that we've had. So we are working right now, as soon as we come back from the break, to put together a design team that will consist of teachers and students and parents and with the current administrators there. And we're hoping that we're able to get them off site into a retreat situation for multiple days in which they can begin to dream and create what we think will be a great opportunity for our kids. So they are not allowed to come back with a traditional high school schedule. That won't be acceptable. It's going to have to be something that is creative and innovative and geared toward 21st century learning and workforce ready as well.